Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk again about politeness levels, as well as something new called formal speech. Now, we previously already learned about honorific speech, which is used whenever you want to speak extra politely about someone else. And we learned about using humble speech when talking about ourselves in those same situations. In some more formal situations, however, we can also use formal speech. Using formal speech sounds like you're speaking as an official, and it sounds more respectful. Therefore, you will not need to use formal speech with your friends or acquaintances. However, whether you use formal speech yourself or not, you will come across it used by others. So when is formal speech used? Well, it's used in formal situations, but to be specific, here are some situations where you'll find formal speech. First of all, you'll find it whenever giving an announcement or giving a speech. So this will be the form you'll hear on an official announcement. You'll also see formal speech when writing a formal letter, or when you're meeting a new boss, or a teacher, or your future parents-in-law. You'll also hear formal speech used exclusively in the Korean army. And there are several common Korean phrases which are used with formal speech more than they're used with other forms of speech. Here are just two common phrases that use formal speech. 잘 먹겠습니다. Thank you for the food. This is a polite phrase that's said before eating a meal in any non-casual situation. Or 생일 축하합니다. Happy birthday. So there are two types of verb endings that we'll need to learn to make formal speech. The first one is nida, and the nida form is used whenever you're making a sentence that's not a question. Here's how to make it. Get the verb stem and attach sumnida if it ends in a consonant, or attach a piup followed by nida if it ends in a vowel. For example, hada would become hamnida, and mokta would become moksumnida. For verb stems that end with the consonant lil, remove it first and then attach pi up followed by nida. So the verb salda to live would become samnida. But when you're making questions, instead of the nida form, you'll want to use the nika form, and it's made in the same way. First, get the verb stem, then attach samnika if it ends in a consonant, or attach a pi up followed by nika if it ends in a vowel. For example, hada would become hamnika, and mokta would become moksumnika. For verb stems that end with the consonant lir, remove it and then attach a piyup, followed by nika. For example, salda would become samnika. To make the future tense with formal speech, you actually only need to change the end of the form koshida, which ends with ida, to be, to either become imnida or imnika. For example, this could become koshimnida or komnida, and in questions, koshimnika or komnika. For example, 저는 갈 겁니다. I will go. 사장님도 가실 겁니까? Will you go too, boss? To make the past tense of the nida form and the nika form, First, get the regular past tense verb stem. Then attach sumnida or sumnika. For example, 제가 했습니다. I did it. 사장님이 하셨습니까? Did you do it, boss? There's also one more common way to make the future tense when using formal speech, and that is with the form ketta. Here's how to make that. Get the verb stem and attach ketta. Then conjugate it. This will become kesumnida or kesumnika in formal speech. For example, 제가 하겠습니다. I will do it. 언제 나가시겠습니까? When will you leave? When comparing the future tense ketta form to the future tense koshida form, this new ketta form sounds much more polite. But in regular informal conversations, the future tense koshida form is much more commonly used. 
So there is a little bit more that we can learn about this Ketta form, but I'll save that for next lesson. In the meantime, here are some example sentences using formal speech. 네, 사장님. Yes, boss. 알겠습니다. I understand. 알겠다 is actually not future tense, but it's used when you want to say that you now know something, you understand it, and you'll do something about it. 알다, however, which means to know, is used when you just want to say that you know something. 저는 미국에서 왔습니다. I am from America. Or, I came from America. 만나서 반갑습니다. Nice to meet you. 아주 좋은 생각입니다. It's a very good idea. 감사합니다. Thank you. 선생님, 피곤하십니까? Teacher, are you tired? 네, 지금 하고 있습니다. Yes, I am doing it now. 네, 걱정하지 마세요. Yes, don't worry. 제가 이따가 할 겁니다. I will do it a little bit later. 어디 사십니까? Where do you live? 서울이요? Seoul? 아직 더우십니까? Do you still feel hot? 제가 에어컨을 켜드릴까요? Shall I turn on the air conditioner for you? 네, 사장님. 알겠습니다. 저는 미국에서 왔습니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 아주 좋은 생각입니다. 감사합니다. 선생님, 피곤하십니까? 네, 지금 하고 있습니다. 네, 걱정하지 마세요. 제가 이따가 할 겁니다. 어디 사십니까? 서울이요? 아직 더우십니까? 제가 에어컨을 켜드릴까요? So in this lesson, we learned about formal speech as well as when to use it and how to make it in the present tense, past tense, and future tense. So practice everything that we've learned today and I'll see you again in the next lesson. 그럼 다음에 또 봐!